Hey, what's going on guys? TK Games here and I am back with some Pokemon Legends Arceus. Um we've just been continuing with the story a little bit, I believe. Where am I right now? That is a very good question. I am What is this place? I'm heading up there. Oh, I'm scaling up the mountain. That's what right. We just got done beating that boss monster that was here. Um, yeah, everything looks pretty even in levels. Alright, let's go ahead and head up this way more. There's a lot of haunters, which I feel like would be like good battle XP because I think I just one hit everything actually do I one hit with confusion oh uh, yeah I still one hit with confusion even at level when it's a bunch of levels higher oh I think I'm battling both of them nope just the ghastly uh it's a level 23 though. That's useless. Let's go over here to this apricot, ap apricorn. Take that. Take that. And is he mad at me or? Wait. Just what? Okay. Didn't expect that. Let's go over here. We'll go ahead and toss one at that. Um, oops. I got an A for Sneasler. Let's go up here farther. Um, that tree looks beat up. What is it? Oh, that's the raspberries. Okay. And here's a here's a nice ride on, which we just figured out that they're really good, cause I kill them and they give us the grit, and they're so easy to kill. Like, see, there's grit dust. What's gonna come out of this tree? A wormadon. Actually, it might be better just to catch this guy, but. We're just going to use Dazzling Gleam. If it dies, it dies. It didn't die. So, we will catch it then. Let's go ahead and throw a ball at it. Might as well catch one. Okay. Because that's a new Pokemon we never had before. Okay, what is this? Dire Shroom. Let's beat this ride on. Easy beat. There's nothing he could do about it. Only gave me a ball of mud that time. Um, just grabbing all this stuff. I got a shiny stone there. Sneasler our way around. Here's a Haunter for XP. Oh. Two Shadow Ball. It's more of a guarantee that a Shadow Ball will kill, so. Alright, so far everything's looking pretty good. We're almost to the area we need to be at. Here's some... Whoa! You can climb trees! I didn't know that. Okay, that's cool. Knowing that I can climb trees is really cool. Oops. It's also a little annoying. Ooh! Voltorbs!
I've already seen what Voltorb looks like, sadly. So I already knew that it's a uh, like a bomb. I know it from Pokemon Go. All right, so let's go ahead and catch. And I'm gonna have to heal. I think it's pretty low on health, so. Let's go ahead and throw super potion at him. That should be good enough. There's another ride on down there. Just trying to get a lot of random. Oh. I did not want to do that. Okay. Oh, looks like he's trying to get me. Okay. It is a little annoying that it just automatically switches to him even if I don't want it to. Okay. I think we're good to just come in here now. Um, I don't know if she's going to battle, but that's a stun tank. So I think going in with Graveler, if she is going to battle me, is the smartest idea. Welcome to Moonview Arena. The seat of Lord Electrode. I know I've not exactly been supportive of you reaching this place, but a part of me did hope you'd make it. Call me contradictory all you like. Galaxy grunt, but such is life. Embracing the complexity of both ourselves and the world can only help us grow. As a member of the Diamond Clan, my highest calling is to please Almighty Sinnoh. And right now, that means I must protect my lord by stopping you where you stand. If you still wish to defeat me and gain entry to the Electrode Seat, you and your little Pokemon are welcome to give it your best shot. Let's go, stun Skunk Tank. Give them another whiff of your silent deadliness. Okay. I think starting off with Gravelers the best thing that I could do here because I think like I won't be able to hurt that Zubat well maybe they're gonna actually kill him first isn't aren't they how come I don't get to attack there we go I think I just bulldoze bulldoze skunk tank Make sure he takes as much damage as possible first right off. He's going to kill Graveler, but that's okay. Um, I wonder if there's moves that damage multiple enemies at once. Um, I think... I think I'll use Float Soul finish um, I think it's pretty easy to finish here aqua jet the skunk tank avoided okay that means float is actually gonna die maybe not okay let's I'm supposed to have 100% accuracy how is he avoiding me and I used Agile, so I should have been able to attack twice. How is he avoiding 100% accuracy? How does accuracy work in this game? Scropey decided to use Venoshock finally.
Yeah, what's even the point if there's no point to use? Aerial Ace should never miss. It's a 100%. It's like it passes all accuracy stats, so. Hypnosis, of course. But it shouldn't matter. Too drowsy to move. Really? Come on. There's a release. I'm going to go ahead and use Roost really quick. Wow. What strong style Roost? Does that just mean I heal more? It healed the full. Yeah, I'm okay with that damage. Oh. Okay, let's just kill it. Wait. He's weak to flying? Is he bug type? For some reason I thought he was poison ground. Let's make one thing clear. I didn't lose. You may have won, but there's a difference. I just lacked er, time. Yes, I'm afraid there simply wasn't enough time for me to raise my Pokemon nice and strong. Ah, could this be why Adamant is always going on and on about time being a precious thing? My word. The Diamond Clan and Ome Sino truly are never-ending founts of wisdom. Yes, yes. I know what comes next. You want to know what pleases Lord Electrode so you can make some bombs for it. Well, I'm afraid I won't be able to help you. Because I have completely forgotten what Electrode likes. What's the matter? Upset? Too bad anger doesn't make bombs. Melly's really giving you the runaround, isn't he, TK Games? Oh, that's a he? I thought that was a girl. <laughs> I guess it's my fault for not telling you in advance what Electrode likes. So here's the... Adamon! What now? I could hear you just now, you know. Are you really going to tell this little noodle what he needs to find? Just like that? Lest we all forget, you're the leader of the Diamond Clan. Why do you bother with these galaxy louts? Use your eyes, Melly. Haven't you even looked at your frenzied lord? Don't you feel even a twinge of how it suffers, fighting to control the energy that's bursting out of it? I see nothing but a Pokemon overcome with joy at being among Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Anyway, it's not like trials and suffering are always cause for doom and gloom. These things exist to help us grow. I'm sorry, Melly. I can't write off these frenzies as some trial from Almighty Sinnoh. That's why I'm doing my best I can to help out TK Games here. This is bigger than what team or clan we belong to. Oh, and by the way, I wasn't just going to tell him that he needs crunchy salt. I was going to go right ahead and give it to him. Now, it's time to make some bombs, so lend a hand to both, the both of you. Fine. At the end of the day, let none say that the great Melly shirked his duties as warden. I'll help make your precious bombs. There. I made you a practically infinite supply of bombs, so chuck all your like at Electrode. But don't underestimate my lord's strength. I very much doubt the likes of you can quell it. Okay, so... Um, normally, against an electrode, you use a ground type, but in this game, electrodes are ground or uh, electric and grass, which two combos that are kind of scary. Uh, 
That makes him weak to fire. Ice. Um, I think that's it. Fire and ice. So we're going to go ahead and lead with Typhlosion. And see how well that works. So even knowing you're doomed to fail, you still wish to pit yourself against Electrode. I'm ready to battle. You have a great deal more pluck than you have sense. I'll give you that. A word of advice. Don't stop moving while you're battling Electrode or you'll be dead in no time. So I wonder how his moves are going to be. There's a bunch of Volt Orbs. And there's the Electrode. Lord of the Hollow. Okay. What do I do against these things? Actually, this guy's hard. So, oh, um, yeah, it is super effective. We're just going to strong style it, and we're going to hope that it kills in one hit. All right. This blue one's faster. I actually just gotta keep running. Jesus. Yeah, it's mostly just running on this battle. It's gonna use Thunder Wave. Oh, he hit, hit me with it too. Explosion's paralyzed. Let's hope not too paralyzed to use this. Alright. Oh, that hurt.
run. There's two blue ones chasing me now. Can't do anything though. I just gotta run. Okay. That's his attack. Alright. This will be it. Jeez, Electrode is fast. He, he was the fastest Pokemon in the game for a really long time. So it makes sense. Alright. This is going to be it for Electrode. There we go. That took a lot of concentration. of XP. Almost everyone's level 50 now. He looks a lot smaller now. Is that plate? They said that there's like 10 plates, right? Oh, for shame. What utter calamity. I agreed to make those accursed bombs, yes. But now that Almighty Sinnoh's precious blessing has vanished forever, it's just so unbearably sad. Is that how you see it? Electrode looks relieved to me, glad its suffering ended properly. Oh, come on, Adam, and seriously? That's just your wishful thinking, nothing more. All your preaching doesn't ruffle me one bit, but if Almighty Sinnoh grows angry with me because of this, I don't know what I'll do. I arrive right on schedule. Ingo. Now what did you bother coming back for? Only to say that I recalled some things after TK Games did me the honor of traveling with me. Things to do with a world where I believe I lived before my memories were lost. Most people were caught there, caught Pokemon, lived with them, formed supportive partnerships with them. And then there were the Pokemon trainers. The ones we called Pokemon trainers were truly devoted to their craft. They always looked towards the next challenge and had Pokemon battles every chance they got. All to help themselves and their Pokemon grow. Through battle, trainers forged bonds of understanding with their Pokemon and with their opponents and their Pokemon too. With everything, I suppose. If Pokemon and people work together, we can forge new paths forward. We'll be lost to history if we go on believing only Pokemon can be strong, or if we go on fearing them instead of understanding them. Interesting. Was your world like Ingo described to TK Games? Sure was. I'd never have thought such a world could exist. Oh, once again, the brilliant Warden Melly has realized something rather clever. It's not just my Pokemon that needs to be strong, it's me as well. The greater my valor and might, the more my Pokemon can reach their true potential. I wonder if Almighty Sinnoh will be pleased once I've achieved exactly that. Hey Adamin, share with me again the wisdom of Almighty Sinnoh's passed down among our clan. <coughs> alright, alright, open your ears, shut that big mouth and listen well, my friend. Give not into sorrow, give not into anger, offer only friendship to those around you. Give not into sorrow, give not into anger, bring not almighty Sinnoh to sorrow. For what is when time's flow will cease, and there you have it. Bravo, excellent. Please, all of you, do your best and run toward the destination, an even higher state. Of course, your higher state is clear, TK Games. It surely lies with the next lord. 
Now this time, I really will make the complete return trip to Jubilife Village. Perhaps with someone like TK Games to show that Pokemon need not be feared, the people of Hisui will find new tracks forward. Now, begging your pardon, I owe Commander Kamado my report. Until next time, TK Games. I believe I do too, right? Can we find a way to honor our past while also forging a better future? Maybe that's all Mighty Sinnoh uh, really wants from us. After all, it rules over all time, and it creates everything there is. Be ready to shield your eyes, Galaxy Grunt. I'm going to polish up both myself and Electrode until our strength and brilliance are blinding. Okay. Report to Commander Kamada. I'm going to go down here first. There's another path up here. With like ice and stuff. Kind of want to go up here. Electrodes. Electivire. Okay. A new place to go. I can't go yet. Okay. Just wanted to see. Claggers. Nope, 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 nope. I'm going to go down, jump down here, and get Alakazam to level 50. Should be pretty easy. There's a. Should be right on, right? There we go. <coughs> Oops. There we go. Let's energy ball it. Will that be enough? That is level 50. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be using Weasel coming forward, but let's get him to level 50 also. This should get him to level 50. Ooh, maybe I should have used uh, Water Pulse. Physical water attack against the Rhyhorn, kind of dumb. Okay, there's his level 50. Oh no, that didn't get him to level 50. That got Typhlosion to level 50 though. Okay, there were more down here though. At least one more. Pretty sure. There's the Rhyperior. Could take him on again. What's this flower? Grab it. Um, I think I should face this Rhyperior again. Uh, it's just good XP. So, we're gonna go into Alakazam. Oops. Okay, let's go ahead and battle this right on first really quick. This will get Typhlosion to level, um, 50. Or not Typhlosion, Floatzel. There we go. The weird thing is, does he still not have a psychic move? A good one? Oh, he does. There we go. Finally. I have all this grit dust. Um, organized satchel really quick. Can use it on him. Let's improve his defenses. Oops. Okay. Um, I think Graveler is here to stay on my team. So upping his HP and his special defense will be great. Speed doesn't really matter for Graveler. It says that something's compatible. Okay, that's just attack. 
Everybody else is probably going to leave the team, so we're not going to worry about that. Okay. Oops. Okay, level 74. Can he use he can't use strong style yet? This should do 50%, no problem. Yeah. Okay, agile style. Mega Horn, which will kill. That's super effective by mass amounts. And then we'll throw Floatzel in. And we gotta use Water Pulse because it's... It's, uh... Special. But we'll use Strong Style. There we go. Defeat the Rhyperior, get the candy and the grit dust. And then... Now we could just teleport back, right? Uh, where is back? Is it all the way over here? Highlands Camp. Mountain Camp. Teleport to Highlands. And there's a few things to do really quick. Let's go ahead and go shopping. And get rid of some things. I might keep all these. I just wanted to see how much they were worth. Oh, 750 it says it right down there. Okay. Don't need these. Don't need the mushrooms, don't need the beans, don't need the dire shroom, don't need the sword cap, or those, or those, don't need the crunchy salt, these are meant to be sold, don't need these, or this, keep those, don't need that, get rid of all those, get rid of those, okay, so that's what we can get rid of for now. Um, let's do a quick rest, just a little while rest, just trying to heal the Pokemon, um, and I wanted to check some of my Pokemon really quick, a bunch of Magikarp, are any good, um, check summary, Okay, that's up speed. That's not that good. Nope. Up attack, down speed. Nope. Okay, none of them were good. Okay, how good was the gibble? Because he would be one that was up in attack and down in special attack, I would switch him with Graveler in an instant, but it's not. I don't think anyone else I would want to trade. Oh, here's another Graveler. Or another Gibble. He's up in attack, down in special attack, so I realistically should switch him because Graveler's not that good and Garchomp would be great. So... Sorry, Graveler, I was going to keep you around, but I don't think I can anymore. Um, I need to go catch some Eevees, either that or I need a, um, a good whatever it's called to switch the, the nature. I have a good ghastly. That's this one, right? Yeah, that's that's the best one that you could have, but I need a good Eevee for Jolteon. Yeah, 
and then I want I just want the Growlithe. It's gonna take up it's gonna make two fire spots on my team, but I don't care. It's fire rock. Alright guys, um that's where we're gonna end it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did. Please leave a comment in the comment section below and please subscribe if you'd like to see more. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.